What are the things, if you look at your business, that you focus on, that you can control, and you really try and make improvements, adjustments, innovations, like what are the things that you look at your business and go like, this is what I should focus on every day? So there's a lot of noise in our, you know, in our day to day that um, some we have to pay attention to, and we try and do something about it. Um, and then, and then I think this, the things that where we really stay the course um, are focusing on our team, uh, making sure everybody feels good about being. Um, on the team yeah. um, and product quality. It, even packaging quality or even box quality or even the things that people don't think about or don't see, yeah. right. we do. Yeah. And a lot of, as Rachel says, is training people to have a sharp eye, to really have in their day the goal of making the best quality yeah. spoon, if you will, uh, yeah. that we can. One of our producer groups, we've been with them for a very long time. We we ended up learning from the workers themselves. The factory owner really prefers to do similar but low-level product and the workers actually sort of raised their hands and said, we don't like making this, we like making the bamboo product. And, and, and knowing that they, just the aesthetics of that product appealed to people who don't even necessarily um, use honey dippers, for right, example, right, right. Um, but that they could appreciate the aesthetic yeah. um, and and raise the their hands. And yeah, yeah, that's a good. I think one of the challenges we have that we spend a lot of time on is packaging. Mm -hmm. How do you use as little packaging as you can, but enough to where it satisfies the needs of the consumer, of the retailer? and of ourself, also a means to protect the product and give the necessary information. I mean, so what this isn't a whole lot of packaging here. No, no and this, this is, is like a third of what you used to have. Right, this Correct. is slimmed and trimmed and we've yeah. removed all forms of plastic, no tape, no staples, and a lot of that takes a some thought. Well, we, we set out, what, two years ago uh, on a plastic-free initiative just in our own backyard, in our own packaging, but also um, our inner cartons, our master cartons. Um, we're now not doing the plastic tape, we're doing paper tape. Okay. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's, it is, um, it, it's not sexy stuff, you know. It, it, but before you switch out your tape, you got to do a lot of testing and make yeah. sure that the product is still going to be, you know, arriving in a in a safe, you know, condition.